This novel might sound to be similar to Lolita by Nabokov, but it's not. Hello and welcome to my channel, I'm Roxy, I hope you're doing well. Today I want to tell you about this book, La Vérité sur l'affaire Harry Quibert in French, or The Truth About the Harry Quibert Affair in English by Joël Dicker a Swiss best-selling author from the French part of Switzerland. He has won many writers' awards, just this novel earned him three French literary prizes as well as got translated in 32 languages. So if you would like to read it in any other language, it won't be a problem to find it. Plus, if you're a movie person, there is series under the same name which you can download from Google Play, Amazon or Voodoo. I would say that this book falls into the category of fiction mystery thriller with an entertaining and gripping storyline. Fun fact about the author, if you plan to visit Geneva, make sure to get as a souvenir some La Maison de Rhone chocolat. This company was established in 1875, but now it's owned by no one else than Joel Dicker and his friend, who saved this chocolate factory from closing. So, this novel, The Truth About Harry Quibert Affair, is about a young American author from whose perspective the story is told. He wrote a debut novel and it became a bestseller instantly, earning him fame and a lot of money. However, at the peak of his success, the author stumbles across a writer's block that can jeopardize everything and no matter how hard he tries to overcome this writer's block, nothing seems to help him. So he decides to try the last remedy, to go to the house of his university teacher, Harry Quibert, who is also a famous author and who taught him everything. If that will not help him, then nothing will. However, even this trip and all the support and help of his university teacher fails. The writer's block seems to become permanent and incurable. But during his stay, our main character finds out that the town where he was studying and where he knew locals very well has a dark unsolved mystery that is 30 years old. The mystery where one night a young 15-year-old girl has gone missing and all the efforts of the local community and police detectives shed no light on what happened that night. But the police and the locals didn't know one thing that this young girl was in love with an adult man, in a forbidden love that she shared with an aspiring author, Harry Quibert. Our main character found by mistake their love letters, and after being persuaded by his teacher that he didn't do anything bad to this girl, that it was a platonic pure love and that he is still heartbroken after losing her, our main character promised to keep quiet. And he does, until he comes back to New York and finds out that the dead body of this 15-year-old girl was found in the garden of Harry Quibert. And Harry himself got arrested as the main suspect for this crime. The main suspect got arrested just because the police officers found one clue. A draft of the masterpiece, which was written by Harry, in the bag next to the body of this dead girl. Being sure that his teacher is innocent, our main character, forgetting everything, rushes back to this town to try to clear the name of Harry Quibert and solve this mystery. As he starts his own investigation, closely working with the advocate, Harry himself and the police detective, he starts to find out that this case is not as simple as it could be. This girl, who appears to be liked by everyone at the first glance, had quite a bit of rivals who could have killed her, due to their personal motives such as fear of her speaking up and even jealousy. It is also unclear how much truth does Harry Quibert says and if he could really be trusted. Plus, someone in the small town is very unhappy about our main character's investigation and sends him threatening notes, hinting that if he will not stop, something bad will happen to him. So, what exactly happened that night? And will our main character be able to solve this 30-year-old crime? I'm not going to tell you, you will have to find it out for yourself. 
I love the way Joel Decker made me suspect so many characters, leading me astray every time I thought that this is the killer, because for sure this character has the motive to kill this poor girl. I also liked how the, he created the Russian doll effect, where you think the story is over, it's again a new turn, and another twist, and another turn. It was very entertaining read, and it was hard to put this novel down. I like how he shifted from past to present and from the main characters to the other characters in the past to show different sides of what is happening and what do characters feel and think. I also like how the author brought up such a complex topic about forbidden love between an adult man and a minor. This novel might sound to be similar to Lalita by Nabokov, but it's not. Here both characters share platonic love, where both are aware of the law and societal norms, but they can't help to want to be together and they can't kill their deep feelings for one another. This story made me realize how cruel and sad true love can be sometimes. Minus point for me was that this novel had some repetitions, which I found to be redundant. And also the ending for my taste was not something I expected and quite understood. But anyway, did you read this book as well? How did you find it? Let me know down in the comments. I would love to discuss this novel with you. Thank you for watching and if you liked my review, please like it, share it with friends, subscribe and hit the notification button. See you soon! Thank you.